Hello and welcome to the inaugural episode of Faith Stories. That's faith with a P-H. Faith Stories, Saints, Sinners, and Spicy Takes. I am your host, Reverend Kathleen McMurray, joined today by the wonderful Reverend Jay Clark. Kathleen and I are both pastors at Pulaski Heights United Methodist Church in Little Rock, Arkansas. And we are so happy to be starting this new endeavor of learning with you. Faith Stories is a podcast where we are going to take a look at stories and people from history, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and draw out lessons for life and faith. Um, We hope that we learn some new things about history, that we have some fun and some laughs, and that we discover deeper meaning for our faith uh, through this journey. And we hope that you discover all those things with us. So this month, for our inaugural episode, we'll be talking generally about history. What is history? Why we care about it? Why it's important? And why on earth we as a church would want to do a podcast about history? So Jay, tell me, what do you think folks think of when they think history? I think that they think about uh, what immediately happened in the short term, but I also think even more importantly, they think about what they can learn from mm-hmm. from the past uh, that brings them forward to this moment. You know, we say all the time in, in uh, teaching in the church that people are going to learn uh, about the history of, of Christianity or whatever religion someone may be. And, uh, you know, how do we learn from it? How do we, you know, take 2,000-year-old stories and bring them forward, uh, you know, to, to us? So history is... Is that obviously like which happens in the past, but I think too that interpretation and our understanding of history can change. Not so much like the facts or events themselves, but the way that we like understand them. What we think of as as fact may change, <laughs> um, but uh, you know, take smoking for instance. You know, people have always you know if you look back at right. the. So and so dentist recommends this kind of cigarette, you know, or oh, the, <laughs> five out of ten doctors smoke these. Well, you know, now doctors are, you know, if they still smoke, they're sneaking them somewhere. So, <laughs> right. Uh, or or how, how they used to prescribe cocaine and heroin as different medication. Right. And now we're not not so much. Not so much. Well, what do you think of when when you think of history? So I think about um, I was I always remember my history teacher in high school talking about how we have to take a very intentional look at history because it is written by the winners. Um, so history is often written and communicated and uh, focused on those in power. Um, those who, yeah, who are the winning side of things. If you lose, you don't often, you know, go down regally in history books. But until recently, most of history, particularly in this country, didn't include women or people of color. Um, And one of my favorite book series growing up um, was the American Girl Doll series, uh, where uh, you, you had these American girls growing up in different historical time periods. Um, And they're told from the perspective of these young girls um, during the Revolutionary War or World War II or um, from a slave girl's perspective um, in the mid-1800s. So this really opened my eyes a lot to think about how women are also not, are often not leading figures in the histories um, of societies because we're so patriarchal. And also the perspective of children are not generally included uh, in textbooks. I mean, normal people in general aren't the perspectives of history that we normally look at. We look at, okay, what was happening in the halls of power? What was happening by the people writing the Declaration of Independence? Not all of the, you know, normal people well, you know, <laughs> living also, their lives. If you think <laughs> on, on that uh, frame of thought, uh, thinking about uh, one of our children in this church, Vivian, uh, you know, she wrote to the people that make the little toy uh, toy soldiers and said, I want to know why there are no girl <laughs> toy soldiers, uh, because my best friend's mother is in the army. Mm-hmm. And so after a while, you know, the last Christmas, they released a line of female toy soldiers. Right. And, you know, so, I mean, who would have thought that, you know, uh, 50 years ago? Right. 
right? That those those perspectives and things change. Um, have you ever uh, seen the Netflix show Dairy Girls? I have. I have. <laughs> Nice we're, not gonna be, appropriate. Yeah, we're not going to be showing it in church sometimes, <laughs> even though that may get a few more people in the door. But, uh. Not exactly church appropriate, but incredibly hilarious. Um, but I mean, I think about that as like there's this group of like teenagers in Ireland in the middle of the Troubles. So, you know, major, bloody, horrific conflicts between the Catholics and Protestants. Um, and these girls are growing up in this town of Derry in, in Ireland. Um, but it, they're teenagers. And so while you've got this, you know, crazy historical event happening around them, mm -hmm. there's also just dealing with life um, and how how that life, their stories are integrated into this larger narrative, I think is fascinating mm -hmm. um, about history. Um, it's fascinating looking at like historical events or people or moments to think about like the everyday or the normal. Right in the midst of it, um, where our stories intersect with the larger story of the world, the larger historical narrative. <clears throat> and we'll, we'll see that, and we're, we're starting to see it now, 20 years after 9-11. Right. Uh, you know, the stories of, uh, of people, uh, I mean, I guess with every story uh, in history, there's always the people whose stories we don't hear. Mm, yeah. And... We, we've seen that with, like, uh, the, the Japanese camps yes. uh, from World War II, one which was in Arkansas. Uh, we see that with, um, you know, the, the, the story of going as far back as the slave trade. We hear, you know, slave stories. Uh, I mean, we're seeing it now uh, in, in Confederate statues mm -hmm. that are being, you know, those stories. You know, and I kept thinking about, you know, what are everyone else's stories there's a big thing with uh, this, and we're not getting paid by Ancestry.com to, to mention their name. But, I mean, there are a lot of people, you know, finding your roots. And there are a lot of people that are hearing stories from their past for the first time. And and that's that's what we are hoping to talk about on this podcast. I think I think that's 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 why we care about history. Right. Is because of its intersection with our stories. Mm -hmm. Um, that story piece of it, um, and and I think that that's really really great. I I heard this uh, really great quote this morning um, from the book "The Home We Build Together" by Rabbi uh, Jonathan Sachs, um, and in it he talked about the difference between history and memory. That history, mm -hmm. he said, is someone else's story, events that happen somewhere else, sometime else you know, in, in a different time, Me but memory is my story. Um, and history answers the question of what happened and memory answers the question, who am I? Um, but I think, you know, what we're hoping to do uh, in this podcast is to look at where those things intersect, right? Like where the, the history, um, those things of the past, particularly stories that we don't often hear, um, we're hoping to share some stories that people may not have heard before, that we may not have, have right. heard of before, um, and, and to delve into some of those unknown stories and see how they really intersect um, and overlap um, with our lives. You know, if we, I always think about looking at pictures, which now everyone just takes pictures on their phones, but, you know, back in the days when you used to do photo albums or, or whatever, you know, there are some memories I have so vividly of something that happened in my childhood, but there's no way I should be able to remember it. And I only remember it because of the picture that I have in my head and the story yes. that I've created around it. And uh, I, I think we do we do the same thing. Uh, we can see it in, in biblical teachings of different stories throughout history and throughout the Bible. Uh, so it's gonna it should be interesting to you know. And we'd love for people to uh, offer what they think we should be talking about in this podcast if. Uh, whoever's listening to this, just to email us and, uh, and uh, so we can have your suggestions as well. Yes, yes. Please, 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 please. We would love to hear from you um, to know what questions you have. If there's different events or people or uh, spicy takes that you would like <laughs> uh, to get from us, we would love to, to share this with you. So you can email us at podcast at phumc.com. Um, and you can also follow, find more out 
about the church and we'll be, I'm sure, posting some stuff about the podcast as well on our Facebook and Instagram pages um, for Pulaski Heights United Methodist Church. Faith Stories, Saints, Sinners, and Spicy Takes is brought to you by Pulaski Heights United Methodist Church in Little Rock. Our engineers are Jacob Nolan and Patrick Shones. Our producer is Michael McMurray. I'm Jay Clark. I am Reverend Kathleen McMurray, and we hope that you will join us next month as we come back and we are going to be talking about the historical Charlemagne. Woo-hoo! See you back next month.